two key swing votes spoke out on Thursday after reviewing the FBI report on the sexual assault accusations made against Judge Brett Kavanaugh. Both Senators Susan Collins, our main, and Sen. Jeff Flake, our Rees, reacted to the FBI report. Collins said the investigation appeared to be very thorough, at Senator Collins, it appears to be a very thorough investigation, no more comment on how she's going to vote. Says she's going to read it in full later today, at Jeremy Herb, Jake Tapper, at Jake Tapper, October 4, 2018. Flake mirrored Collins' statement, saying he agreed with the senator that the report was thorough. Siren, Jeff Flake tells us there is no additional corroboration in the FBI file. Agrees with Collins that it was thorough, Eric Wasson, at L. Wasson, October 4, 2018 Flake added that there didn't seem to be any additional corroborating evidence. He said that, no new credible corroboration, no new corroboration at all. The Hill reported. At the Senate Judiciary Committee meeting on September 28, Flake told the committee that he would vote in favor of Kavanaugh if there was an FBI investigation on the sexual assault accusations made against Kavanaugh. The members of the Senate voted that day 11 to 10 in favor of Kavanaugh. I think it would be proper to delay the floor vote for up to but not more than one week, Flake said Friday. We ought to do what we can to make sure that we do all due diligence with a nomination this important. Watch the video below. After he reviewed the FBI report, Blake told reporters, I think Susan Collins was quoted saying it was very thorough but no new corroborative information came out of it. That's accurate, I wanted this pause, we've had this pause, Blake said, according to The Hill. Thus far we've seen no new credible corroboration, no new corroboration at all, the two have not expressed their definite, yes, to confirm Kavanaugh, although some comments seem to be heading in that direction, Sen. Lisa Murkowski, or ARC, has also not decided. The Senate will have a procedural vote on Friday to confirm Kavanaugh and it will lead to a full vote as early as Saturday.